Hey everyone, this is Gary, the Renegade Dream Builder. And I was watching one of Dr. Robert Kazar's videos the other day, and I saw this conductivity light. I was some excited because of the potential of what you could do with this just from watching his video. So I called up one of my friends and I said, hey Mike, can you build me one of these? And he watched the video and he goes, yeah, I can build it. And here it is right here. So we are really excited to get this and share some of the things that we've learned uh, using it and sharing it with the world. And I'd like to thank Dr. Robert Kazar for uh, actually being the scientist and experimenter that he is so that we can all do our own experimenting and grow as a community. So let's get started. So all we need to do is hit the switch, plug the wires in, and our probe is right here, and we'll be using that in liquids and fruits and vegetables. You'll see how that works in a minute. Plug it in, and we're ready to start with our water test, our very first test for testing water. So that first test of water is going to be tap water. We're just filming it so you can see that it really is tap water. We have blue tape on the glass, so no matter where it is on the table or anything, you know that that is tap water. So we'll take that over, set it on the table. So here we are now with the tap water. And we're going to take some 9.5 uh, pH water, pour it in the other glass. And we're ready to start the experiment. Just turn on the switch and the end of that probe will have 110 volts right at the end of the probe. And we'll put it in the uh, tap water first so you can see what happens and nothing happens. There's not even enough in that water to excite that enough to light that light bulb. And in the pH balance water, 9.5, Nothing happens over there either. So we're going to give it a little uh, shot in the arm, see what we can get going. And we're going to, first in the tap water, we're going to use iodized salt. Just a little tiny bit of this will help. Let's get that. Isn't that beautiful? So the conductivity of that now is ready to for the next part of the experiment, except we're going to do the pH balance first. And in the pH balance water, we're going to use Himalayan crystal salt. Now, if you've never had Himalayan crystal salt, it's much saltier than iodized salt. So you need a, just a little tiny bit of it if you use any on your food, as compared to the iodized salt. But watch this. Just a few little grains, and that thing's going to go crazy. Look how bright that is. And we'll put a little more in. And it gets even brighter. Now we're going to put the probe back in the tap water. And I think I'm going to put a little more salt in. Because that bulb could be a little bit brighter, even with the iodized. Okay, see how much brighter that got? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take sugar. And we're going to put sugar in with the tap water. Because you can see the conductivity is really high right there. And watch what happens when I do this. Now, think of the water as your stomach and the light bulb as your electrical system. And then you have a soda or a candy bar. Look how much electricity, how much conductivity that that is actually shutting down. I find that absolutely amazing. And 
you may think that I'm putting a lot of sugar in, but you could get eight to 10 uh, teaspoons of sugar in just a soda. So then if you have a soda and you have sweets with it, think of how much sugar you're getting and how much effect you're having on your whole electrical system. But you can see each time I put that in that it's burning it off and it's coming back. Well, that same thing is happening to your body. The sugar is shutting your body down and destroying the conductivity of your body. And then as it starts to burn it off, it starts to come back. And that is where fatigue comes from in your body. It's fighting the acidity in the sugars, trying to get the body back to balance into an alkaline state. Even the Himalayan crystal salt, you can see it recovers a lot quicker, but still it even affects that. That's how powerful sugar is in your body. I find this experiment extremely amazing. And we get to see what happens to our bodies when we are drinking alcohol, uh, like I said, soda, uh, sweets, anything that you do actually interrupts the conductivity of your entire body. And you can see it's starting to come back. It's not quite as bright as it was. It may get back there, but it takes a while. So I hope that you enjoyed this, and we'll have many videos coming in the future. So until then, have a great day.